hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is Mythical Sausage. How is everybody doing, man? I'm doing so good. Hopefully you guys are doing amazing because today I got inspired. Minecon Live is really, I think it's tomorrow as of me recording this video and there's a big old update for biomes coming. We got Badlands, Mountain, or Swamp and we're going to be voting which one is going to be updated first. But hopefully all of them get updated really soon. I'm still waiting on that desert and savannah, okay? My, uh, Mojang, hurry up. But uh, I'm so excited. So I got inspired. Inspired. I wanted to build something in a Badlands biome, but what to build? I think Western is the perfect style for that biome. So today we're going to be building this right here. Check it out. This is super awesome. So this is a really cool Western style build. It is two stories. The first floor, we got a lovely old cat saloon <laughs> and in the second floor we got a little inn and i love it we got a water tower we got some dead trees we got a cool little wagon on the side and oh so cool let's do a little spin around and i got inspired baby so we haven't done a, a western style house in a very long time and i think this one came out pretty cool what do you think i think it came out awesome but you know what let's get this started we're gonna build this thing block for block right now and here we go with the block palette. So we're just bringing in a bunch of woods in this one. So we're going with some dark oak, stripped, some stripped spruce, the whole spruce family, a bunch of oak, and a couple little things along the way. But let's get this started with the foundation. All right, here we go with the foundation. We're going to start this out right now. If you notice these darker woods right here, that is the main structure of the building. The lighter woods you see all the way around here, that is the setup for the alleyway and also the balcony. So leave that there for now. We're going to work on the main structure first and then attach that section after so let's start counting blocks the main structure right here is going to be a 9 by 13 that's it but let's start counting and we'll start back here with some dark oak wood so let's do the outline first and then i'll show you how tall we need to put it so right here let's put our first block boom so one dark oak log right here give it a space of one two three with logs sideways put another one down one two three and another one down like so now let's take this one down one two three put that down this, give this one a space of three. This is going to be our entrance to our lovely old saloon. Now, here we're going to give it a one and then go one, two, three, pop another one down. One, two, three, another one. One, two, and three, pop one down. And then we're going to do the same thing. So three and up, three and up, and then connect those all the way around looking like that. Perfect. Now, next up, I'm going to take every single one of these logs. Let's take them all the way up by 14. So let's do this one real fast. So this is already a one. Let's go up by 14. All right, perfect. All up by 14. Now, right here, let's just take this one up two more and this one up two more to give you that nice little Western feel. Now, next up, let's start lifting up blocks. So right now, I'm going to put some stairs. We're going to put some oak stairs right here. One, two, and three. Give it a space of one, two. And on the third one, we're going to lift this up right here. Let's do it again on this one. One, two, three. Go up by one and two, and then one, two, and three. So some big windows here. Now, on this side, this is what I'm going to do. For now, let's just go up with stripped. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Give it a stair here and a stair up top, giving you a too high window. And then we're just going to repeat this on all the levels on the bottom. Except for right here, we're just going to cover this whole thing up. So this is where our bar is going to be from the inside. So we want all this uh, nice and flush so we, we can use the whole wall. <laughs> so just like that. Now, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come in here and texture. So we're going to bring in a little bit of plank action, make it look like a little bit of patchwork been done on these walls. So something like that. It's enough to be exact. Just randomly come in here and add these lovely old patches of just regular old plank. All right, perfect. Now, next up, we're going to go ahead and cross beam all of these just like this on every single section and the same line all the way around. Now, once we do that to break up the next level, I'm going to bring in some of the stripped spruce and this is going to line all the way on top of the, the beans we just placed. So let's do this real fast. All right. Now that we have that, we're going to pretty much do this style. You see right here, we're going to do it all on the top layer. So let's do that real quick. So one, two, three and four, one, two, three and four, and then a stair here and there. And then also let's get a little cross beam going. So let's do this all the way around. All right, perfect. All done. Now, the only difference is this middle one is going to be a little lower because we're going to put the door to get into the end section. Now, next up, let's grab some stripped oak and we're going to go down one layer all the way around on this section. So let's wrap this around all the way. All right, now that we have that up here, let's work on a cool little design. So I'm going to put a stair facing this direction. I'm going to do two full blocks and a stair facing that direction, just like that. Then let's repeat it over here. So a stair facing here. We're going to go with two full blocks and a stair facing that direction. Also going to put a slab on the tippy top right over here. 
one on top here, here, and there. Now, for this little middle section, we're gonna do this. Now, just fill this out, one, two, three, one, two, and three. Then we're gonna put a stair this way and a stair that way. Then we can break it up a little bit by going in and maybe putting a, uh, a little stair facing, let's do it upside down, and then maybe one facing down just to break that up a little bit and we'll do that all the way around eventually but that looks pretty cool now for this side over here we're gonna pretty much put slabs on top of every single one of these logs like so and then over here we're gonna get some of our regular old oak trap door and just wrap this all the way around all right now that we have that let's go over here on the inside part and let's grab this stripped uh, oak that we have here and let's run these lines going all the way down from one side to the next So that goes from this side to that side pretty much mirrored This one's gonna go from here to there and then this one's gonna pretty much just go all the way from one side to the next Just like that then next up. Let's grab some of our spruce slab I'm gonna go right on this inside part. It'll be flush from the bottom, but it'll be kind of recessed in by one Let's go ahead and put that in between all these squares real fast now next up. Let's grab our dark oak and let's put one here and here and actually for these let's take these out because here we're going to put our nice uh water tower on that side so leave it just like so and then this one can go ahead and get that uh slab everything in between is going to get some of the um the trap door so let's put that real quickly all right for the water tower we're going to grab some of our stone brick wall and go up by one and two one and two on every one of these corners then we're bringing our strip dark oak and go up one and two on all of these just like so Perfect. Then after that, we're going to grab some slabs. I'm going to put a slab right here on this edge, another one on this edge, and then a trap door in the center like so. So let's repeat that. So right here, slab, a slab. So we have it right at that level. Then we have a trap door in the middle. So slab, slab, and a trap, and do it again right here. Now, once we have that, we're going to go up with our barrels uh, right in the center. One, two, and three levels, just like that. And we're going to cover this up right here. One, two, three. One, two, and three. Oh, no, hold on. Hold on, I got it, perfect. And then one, two, and three on this one. Perfect, now once we have that, we're gonna grab some fences, and this could be any fence. I went with spruce, and we're just gonna go up one and two on every corner bit, just like that. Underneath, I'm gonna just cover this up, and you could do it really any way to cover this up. I'm just gonna go with trap doors going down like so but you can use slabs you can use pretty much anything i kind of like the way that looks like that and or you can even break it up and put a bunch of different things here so maybe one little slab in the middle looks pretty cool now for the roof let's do it like this we're going to put slabs on top of all the fences just like so then we're going to grab our trap doors and put them right on the side of these barrels right here all the way around just like so then let's put some full blocks in the back right here pretty much on top of all these barrels just like so then we're gonna grab some stairs. Let's put a stair right in the center and then two slabs, one on each side. So let's repeat it here. So stair, slab, slab, stair in the middle, two slabs, and last but not least, stair in the middle and two slabs. Perfect. Then right here, we're gonna start lifting this up. So let's do double slab here, double, a double, and a double on that. Then let's lift this up right here. Let's just surround all that. We're gonna put uh, regular slabs on right in the line where those stairs were. So one here here and on this side then we're going to bring up more slabs so another slab on top of this line another slab in the middle another slab here and here and then cap that off and it's going to look just like that a nice little dome like shape now you don't have to fill this thing with water but if you want you can go ahead but for me i'm just going to leave it plain just like that all right now next we're going to start lifting up our little balcony overhang bit so for this one right from this beam we're going to go one and two and right here we're going to take it up by eight so one two three four five six seven and eight Give it a space of three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Another space of three, up by eight. And then we're gonna give it another space of three, up by eight. And again, space of two, and then take it all the way up. Then space of two, up by eight. Another space, this one is of three, up by eight. And then another space of three, and then up by eight. This should look just like this for now. Then let's work on this little bit. So right here, we're gonna bring in our uh, dark oak again. And this was just up by two. Up by two here, two and two. So this goes on the main structure side, just like that. Then before we get to the balcony bit, let's lift this up. So we're gonna put a stair right here. We're gonna put some slabs here, here, and there. This one's gonna have three steps going up like so. This one gets another three slabs. And then this gets a step here and here going down. Now, what I want you guys to do is let's fill this whole area 
here with just regular spruce. All right, perfect. Now, right at this level here, which is technically one, two, three, four, five, on the fifth level, we're gonna put a stair. So we're gonna put a stair in every section until we get all the way to this section here. Then we're gonna put slabs in the middle. And this is gonna go all the way down, like so. Then we're gonna do this. We're gonna come back on this side and we're gonna put slabs right here and there. We're gonna go with two more here and there. And that should pretty much line up with this beam right here, the, the cross beam you see on that side. So let's do this thing over here on this side as well. So we're gonna go one, oh, no, sorry, one and two, one and two. And that should go right on that beam, just like so. Then in the middle, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill all this with our slabs of oak. And this is gonna go all the way down. It pretty much gives you like a little overhang before uh, the main balcony bit, which is a pretty cool design. So we're gonna go all the way down like this. That's gonna connect to that. And then this one's gonna connect all the way to this side, just like so. Perfect, so that goes underneath. It's gonna look like this from down below. All right, now that we have that, let's work on the balcony. So I'm gonna use trapdoors here. So let's put a trapdoor right at this line, going all the way down, and it's pretty much gonna go right at this level, right below the main or last block on the top. So just take this down all the way around, and we're gonna circle this as our balcony bit. So this goes all the way around this direction, and it's gonna stop right over here. Then, in the inside part, this is what we're gonna do. Let's put slabs. Now, once we have that wrapped all the way around, let's grab some of our oak fences and we're gonna pretty much put these on the top. So just like so. I'm gonna put them every other one on these. That could be full. And then I'm gonna put gates in the middle section, just like that to give it a little bit of a different look. But over here, we're gonna do another two. Here, we're gonna do one and one and gates in the middle. So that is our little balcony bit right there. Next up, we're gonna grab our fences and do it here too. So fence, fence, and then gate. We're gonna do a fence, fence, and then a gate right there. Then next up, I'm gonna grab some extra beams. We're gonna put a beam line right here at this level, pretty much one right before that trap door. And this gives a little more detail going all the way around, just like so, and then one more right here. Now in added detail, we're gonna put some slabs of spruce all the way around on these little exposed log tips there. And then another thing I wanna do is let's grab some fences. I'm gonna put them right at this level one two three and four all the way around and then drop some lanterns here to give us some light on the top and then we're going to put some trap doors on the top just to give a little more detail on that also we're going to come down here and put some fences just connecting this little pop out logs to that little overhang bit and then also back here we're going to continue with that light theme and hang some more lights right at the top at the same level going down like so now the next thing we're going to do is let's make a stair to get up so this one's going to be super simple we're just going to put uh two stairs right here and then just go down gradually like this uh, until we get all the way to the bottom and then we're going to put some upside down stairs just to give a little bit more uh, thickness to this thing perfect <laughs> then next up what i really want to do is let's grab some trap doors and we're just going to go down like this and give it a little bit of a railing so we're going to put one trap door on the top and one on the bottom stair all the way around like so there we go, that's how our stair is gonna look like to get to the top. Now, next thing is uh, to add some more details here. I decided to go with some flower boxes right here on that strip section, just like that. And then we could do some also on the bottom area, just like so. Making these really, really simple. All you're gonna need is some trap doors to go all the way around like so. And at the bottom, I put a stair. So let's put this all the way around. Now, next up, I'm going to bring in some signs. I'm going to randomly just place these in just certain spots where um, it looks like it might have been broken in a little bit. So something like that. Oh, you can even board up some windows if you like, <laughs> like so. Uh, but I'm not going to go that far. I'm just going to put some signs to just, to, uh, just to break it up and make it look a little bit more rustic. Like this place has been pretty much uh, beat up for years. <laughs> so something like that looks pretty awesome. It just adds to the details. So I'm going to do this all the way around. All right, that looks awesome. So we did that all the way around and it's looking pretty rough and beat up. Also added some brown glass just to make it look even dirtier. And so far so good, we're almost done. Now let's go on the inside and let me show you how to break up uh, the, the different floors. So step number one, let's do this. We're gonna bring a beam right at this level right here. And we're gonna take this all the way down from one side to the next. On this one as well, this is gonna be our little breakup job from the first and second floor. So we're gonna take this one down, this down here, and then this down this way. Then right here, this is pretty cool because our first floor and our second floor has like a, a one block gap space. So you can pretty much just do whatever you want on the top and it won't affect the flooring on the next floor, which is pretty cool. I'm also gonna do this here. So this one, I'm gonna add an extra beam going down this way, an extra beam here. And we're also gonna cross down this direction like so. Now for this ceiling, let me do this. I wanna make this look pretty cool. So I'm gonna get some slabs. I'm gonna pretty much run these slabs going down like this. 
and then run these slabs going down this way. The middle gap, I'm going to put some trap doors, and this gives you a really nice ceiling detail right there. And then let's just repeat this around on this side. Just like that. Really cool. Then next up, let's lower this all the way to that beam. We're going to lower this all the way to that beam. And then let's work on this section. Now for this one, I'm going to bring in this uh, strip spruce that we have. I'm going to use these as our top level cross beams. And uh, this is going to be pretty much uh, covered up for the most part. So you're not going to really see it, uh, but it's going to be fine. Uh, you can just leave it just like that. Then for this one, we're going to bring in this uh, the spruce. And we're just going to take this down right here and just cover up this floor. Now that we have this floor covered, we're pretty much just going to cover all these up right here. Just you make your individual rooms and each room is going to be a small little five by five. So that's fine. We can just go ahead and just run all this around like this and then we can just break it up. So let me show you how to do that real fast. And there we go. All the rooms are separated. So all of them are going to look just like this. We're just going to drop in some doors on the insides and we're good to go. Now for the kitty cat saloon, let's do it like this. So on the roof, we're going to use uh, some stairs and let's face them this direction. Let's face these oak stairs this direction. And in the center, we're going to go with some slabs just to break it up a little bit. Let's do this one more time. So one here, one there, and then slabs in the middle. So let's set this up all the way around. And then the last little bit, I'm going to put our strip spruce going down on that section. I'm going to put a upside down stair and an upside down stair spruce right here. Then some trap doors going down like so. And then to make a nice little like saloon door entrance, we can either push it this way. Let me show you. Uh, we can go right here, one, two, and on the top, I'm going to put an oak trap door. So that's like a little door to get in and out. And this is looking pretty cool. Actually, this way, let me see. There we go, one, two, and that little piece right there on the top. So that is like a little saloon door being open. You can either open it, it towards the back or towards the front, but that looks pretty awesome. Now, one last little thing that I like to do here. I put a little bell uh, over here, uh, and this is how you do it. So I'm going to lower that by one. I'm going to drop a little bell down right there. And then every other one, I'm going to put uh, just a full block here just so we can keep that theme going all the way down like that. And that looks pretty cool. Oh, one slight little edit. I believe I did push this out one more just to give it a little more space. So let's do that really quick right here. Let's just take this out one more, push this back. And that would actually be a little bit better. And you have a little more walking space. And then you can have people like hanging out here, uh, not like interfering with people that are walking by. So let's push that up a little bit. Then over here, I'm going to put a fence of spruce, another one here and one there and then gates on the side. And then I put some flower pots on top. And this is where you can lead your horses in there. Then on this side, I went ahead and I set up this little watering trough here for the horses. So something like that and just waterlog those blocks just like so. Now we're on the inside. Let's set this up. So I'm going to put a log going all the way down here. Give it a space on this side and this side to walk on in. Then on this section, we're going to go ahead. I'm going to do another log in the same section, the same level going all the way down just like so. Then we're going to grab some barrels. I'm going to put some barrels here. So let's do barrels on the side like that. Then I'm going to grab some of our trap door and let's go up over here. One, two, three, go all the way down like so. Let me see if I can sneak in here. Can I sneak in? There we go. And then let's do this again on this side. So one, two, three right there. Oh, no, hold on. I think I can do it. I believe there we go. So to close those off. And then here we're going to just take this down at that level and put a couple extra barrels on the top. It could be really anywhere. You don't have, have to have them set up any particular way. And then up here we're going to put some cups hanging out, maybe a few cups down the line like so. And then also we're going to grab some signs and some spruce signs are fine. I'm going to put these right at this level and it's going to look cool. It's going to give us a nice little overhang bit to that little section there. There we go. Then I'm going to grab some seats and I'm just going to pretty much face them down here. So one two and three just like so and that's perfect then uh, i'm gonna go ahead and set up uh this side so for this section over here i'm gonna go with uh let's put a uh, a, a little log right on that side and then we're gonna put stairs going all the way around so that's one table and then we're gonna go ahead and put one here and this is gonna be another little table kind of like spread around just like so all right here for the little piano i have set up check this out so i'm gonna put two looms facing this direction right there I'm going to put a stair facing here upside down. I'm going to put a slab here, here, and there. Then I'm going to put a slab here, one on top and one above that, and a little fence on the side right there. I'm going to grab a slab also. Oh, I think I have one here. Put a little slab seat right on that side. And then I'm going to put some of the um, Hershey bar trap doors on the side, just like that. And then we're going to put a sign in the back of dark oak and that's going to be 
just like so. So that is pretty awesome. Uh, in the back here, let's do uh, an item frame, and then I'm gonna grab a banner pattern. Uh, and it's gonna look like that. And then this is gonna be kind of like right here and a banner right there. So that's our little piano, tiny little piano right there. We can make it a little bit bigger, but I think, I think we're good. If you wanted to make it bigger, I would say maybe go all the way to here. Maybe take this little piece off We can go like that, lift this up, connect that little bit, and maybe something like that if you wanted to make it bigger. But I think it, it's a small little area, so I went ahead and just got it just to there, and I closed it off with the trap doors. Now, as far as the inn over here, I'm going to show you what I did. And you can pretty much do anything, but I'm going to go with two upside down stairs and a slab here. Uh, we're going to go with a couple little flowers here on the side. You can put any flower, cactus, or whatever. That's fine. On this side, I put some composters and I put some bush on top, just like so. Uh, in the middle, we dropped a lantern right here on the tippy top. And that should light up this whole place. Now, each room, you can put it however you want. I pretty much mirrored all of them. They're all pretty similar, so I'll do one. And it's up to you guys how you want to set it up. So, a little barrel in the corner right here. Drop the bed on the side. Maybe a little flower pot or a light on that side. Over here, a tiny table. So, right here, just like that. Oops, uh, put that back. <laughs> just like that. And then, on the inside, I went with a composter bush. Uh, just to give it some life inside. Like so. And then, I... Put some trap doors on certain sides. You can put them on both sides or one or the other. And here we could just put maybe a barrel and you could throw in a little chest, but it's really up to you guys how you want to set up these rooms. Uh, added details would be something like a painting would be pretty cool. Uh, and you can just pretty much put anything in here, some carpet, that's fine. So something simple like that spread out all the way around. All right, the build is pretty much done. But before we get out of here, let me show you guys how to make this wagon. You gotta have this wagon if you're gonna put this building here. So let's start doing this right here. So for this, let's go with a slab. I'm just gonna place the slab right here. Let's take it up to this level, right about there. And then we're gonna go down one, two, and three, and four, just like so. Now from here, let's go an extra. This is a one, so two, three, four, five, and six. And let's just bring this down like so. Now, once we have that set up, let's go to the front here. We're gonna put trap doors. So let's do one, two, three, and four. Let's grab our gates, put one here and one there. Then we're going to grab our fences right here, go one and two, and one in the front, one and two, and one in the front. Here we're going to put some of our oak stairs, one and two. And then on the side here, let's just go with some barrels. So one, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, and five on each side like so. Then let's grab some of our white concrete powder. We're going to go one, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, and five. Then white wool, one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five, right there. Then let's take this up and we're going to just go all the way down on the little gaps we missed right there, just like so. Let's grab some of our trapdoors. We'll go one, two, three, and four right here. And then we're going to grab our fences and go up one and two, one and two, like so. Let's grab some slabs and take it up right here, here. And then let's just go right on the inside and bring it out right there. On this side, we're going to do the same thing. So one here. Let's bring it in and out like so. And actually, you could leave it on the inside, but I'll show you what to do on the inside. But for now, just like that. Then, let's grab our trap doors of our oak, and we're going to put them right here and right there in the end. And this is going to be our little wheel. So right here on the end and here on the end. We're going to grab some ladders, and we're going to go right at this section. So one and two, take it all the way up, give it a space, and another one up. Then let's do the same thing on this side. So one, two, three, one, two, and three. And then grab our rails, and we're just gonna connect the ladders up, like so. Perfect. Then, right here, this is pretty cool. We're gonna give it a nice little window kind of thing here, but we're gonna place it, actually, we could place it on this side, or we could go on the inside. It doesn't really matter, so let's go on the inside really fast. Here, uh, we can go, let's see, right, let's do it like this to make it a little easier, just like that. Take that little piece off and then let's bring in our uh, other trap doors like that. Now we could do the same thing here. So let's bring that down and then we can make this kind of sealed up if you wanted to, like this. If you want it sealed, or you can maybe seal one and then open the other. So we're going to need this one on the inside, but then on this, we can open it up like this and that. There we go. And then open that up and we have ourselves a nice little custom door to get in. And you can put whatever on the inside. I have a, just a bunch of junk in there, but. It looks pretty cool. We can even detail the ceiling if you want by putting maybe a mix of trapdoors and slabs, maybe something like that, 
just to break it up on the inside. But you can't put any here and here just because of those trap doors. But that's fine if you wanted to do something like that. But that's it. That's all there is to it. What do you guys think? Did it come out all right? I think it came out pretty cool. Also, we have a nice little vulture on the tippity tippity top. Look at that vulture right there. Looking pretty awesome and very menacing. But uh, let me go inside. Let me show you guys how it would look like uh, if you lay it out like this. And we the kitty cafe. Uh, put some kitties in here. The, uh, the first ever kitty saloon, baby. Check this out. We got cakes, kitty cats everywhere. There's a little bell up top. Uh, it's looking pretty cool. The taps are looking like that. Looking pretty awesome. Uh, here is our lovely old band right here. He's playing the piano. And this is our bartender. I don't know what they're doing. They're not really open yet. That's fine. The kitties are hanging out. Uh, and here, actually, I made this one a little bit bigger, our, uh, our piano. But either way, both of them look pretty cool if you want to use one or the other. But this is looking pretty awesome. Uh, as we come on down, this one actually takes us around. We have a nice little boardwalk kind of thing. I had a little bit of detail like this by putting some trap doors inside the wood here just to have little rivets and stuff adding more detail around uh dead bushes and it's looking pretty awesome oh i love it i love it so much that tree grew that's not supposed to be there don't look at that <laughs> what i put a sapling up there and it grew nice so up here we have a little pot of plants as well on the outside and as we come on in um yeah this the tree grew through though don't look at that that's fine <laughs> that's awesome so here are the rooms here's one room Here's another one here. They're all pretty much mirrored, pretty similar. Uh, little carpets on the floor. And yeah, we have a nice little inn on this side. So it looks pretty awesome. What do you guys think? Let me know if you guys want to see more Western style builds. This was so much fun to make. I'm, I'll be so down to do a whole village. Put hashtag village if you guys want to see something like this in a yeah, Western style village in a Mesa or Badlands. Sorry, horsey's excited. But I'm out of here for now. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this. Let me know which uh, biome did you guys vote for uh, on Minecraft. But I'm out. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next Minecraft video. Goodbye.